Hey, Glenn, 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 can you mute him for 10 seconds, Glenn? I think Glenn had an edible. The guy's way too fucking chill. None yeah. of us here like Wes Watson, bro. He's a I fucking like loser. Yeah. I have a whole I, I video. Like, I, I like fucking clowned him for hours. As the this generation is so like you talk about words breaking people's feelings, the fact that you can no longer engage in either physical combat or even like an open dialogue, people like you, you say, no, I don't give a fuck if words offend somebody. We live in a society where lesser men, femininely injected men, mm -hmm. can talk a certain type of way to other people in a consequence free environment. Like I love the American guy up in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I will fire back. I will answer all energy with it with like energy if you're if you're nice i'll be nice if you're if you come at me um i'll come right back at you so. ricky bobby uh welcome to the stage um do you want to add anything or do you want to share your thoughts on anything that we have uh addressed thus far no i, I was uh the guy i, I kind of got involved in his story i randomly stumbled upon y'all's channel and I was like, all right, I'll do what they're chatting about. And this guy's bearing his soul. So I don't know in this moment if I actually have anything oh, I, of I'm value not, I'm, there. I'm not going to troll that someone's being uh, vulnerable and sincere. I'm always sincere. So feel free. Go ahead. But Grid's never <laughs> vulnerable. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, I will fire back. I will answer all energy with the, with like energy. If you're, if you're nice, I'll be nice. If you're If you come at me. Um, I'll come right back at you. So. I don't know, man. There's something called escalation of force. I don't necessarily think your ethos is one for success, but nevertheless, it's very American of you. I am very American. Thank you. <laughs> that right, wasn't so a compliment. Back, back to um, the topic at hand. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we could shame, you know, people, right? You, but... Shame only does so much, right? Shame doesn't work for everybody. It's not a one size fits all. There's not, there's right, but not shaming has created all these fucking pussy snowflakes. That your words make you cry now. Like, yeah, we should be shaming people. Different, like, but your generation is guys. one that will not throw hands. You guys are soft as shit. What's that? As the this generation is soft, like you talk about words breaking people's feelings. The fact that you can no longer engage in either physical combat or even like an open dialogue, people like you, you say, no, I don't give a fuck if words offend somebody. We live in a society where lesser men, femininely injected men, mm -hmm. can talk a certain type of way to other people in a consequence free environment. Like, I love the American guy up in the middle, and, he, and he's doing a great job of like portraying himself to be something. But I know a gorilla and a savage, when I see one, he's not. It's a weird day in the world for, you know, athletes and traditionally masculine guys to to navigate through it's fucking impossible i'm sorry i gotta i gotta i gotta step in here for a second um, go ahead and step in dad I, I i wasn't being rude but i made an honest observation what would you like how would you like to counter that um i if someone was to hit me in the face they really better run really fast like a lot faster than i can because that's going to be a real bad day for them I, um, I sincerely disagree, sir. I'm just looking at your athletic prowess, and it doesn't really seem to jump out off the the Star Spangled Beauty. Athletic, and I'm not saying that, bro. That's not a knock. It's not a knock. You're middle. I'm middle aged too. I just happened to. I, I held up a little bit better, and it's okay. It's not a knock. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying I these young athletic. kids right now. Interesting. Your days of violence are behind you, as yeah. am I. Your 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 example was a, an older man when you're talking about young kids. Do you do you? Well, do you make yeah, any your, your generation? You talk, your, your generation, your generation is so. My generation. How old are you? I'm 40 years old. You're 40. I'm 50. I'm 40. I'm so talking to the guy in the bottom yeah. underneath you. I, 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 how, how old? How old do you think I am? I just want to know what generation <laughs> you're talking about. I, I think you're 30 years old. Okay. Good guess. Am I? Am I pretty accurate? Yeah. So you're. You're ten years older than me, and you're saying what? Your your then generation. Then I would even say it's, so it's, it's your generation, generation and a little bit younger. Yeah, there's uh, everybody sues. There's a fucking video camera everywhere around, and I, I really do think that guns are tools Only for pussies. What's that? Only thirty year olds do that. No, no, like your generation and younger. I, I'm not saying you. I'm saying your generation. They've demasculated. They've 
emasculated American men. And we have like this whole Columbia Pro Fishing Gear. I would say, uh, Ricky Bobby, that um, our generation, because I, you and I are the same age, um, are do also suffer from this. It's not just oh, hundred percent, bro. I, I'm, yeah. I'm just exponentially. It gets more and more yeah, the further you go down the number line, closer absolutely. to like the true. Yes, we're. I think we're in agreement. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, but we will see it. We see it in the the generation before us. Maybe not as much as we see it in our generation. And but in the the generation beneath us, it's way it's a little bit more than it was in our generation and as as, as you were saying as it goes down it grows and grows and grows um and you're right men are not men are not one taught to be men anymore i don't even know if we could say that any of us seen a, a real man in the category other than thinking of ourselves as real men right but he, Dude, 30 years ago, I would have barely been like on the, on the cusp of like masculinity. Yeah. You know, guys used to build shit with their own hands. They like, yeah, I, do I like to bow hunt? Yes, I like to bow hunt. Big fucking deal. Um, yeah. But like the, the rise of academia, the rise of remote work, the rise of the empowerment of, uh, I don't know. I just said that the guy in the middle, man, I'm, I'm fairly conservative leaning. I just, I know when it's for posturing. And I'm not, I got, I'm not even shitting on you, dad, in the middle. I think you're a very lovely guy. And I just said you were vulnerable and honest and sincere. I did, you know, I, I wrestled in high school. I was a combat athlete for most of my life. Like I know it's, and I now, and the guy. I still three gun at a high level, motherfucker. Come on out. Yeah, and that, that, that's what I, at. Let's, let's go do it. Where, where you at, Ricky Bobby? Where you at? I was just confused because he said my generation and then he talked about you. So I was like, who the oh, fuck? I, I thought you two were talking to each other. I'm, I'm and dad, dad. Three. Let's go. Let's do it, man. Where are you? Dad, what, dad, what you, 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 I'm in Florida right now. I'll meet you. You're in Florida? Lighter head. Oh, that's fucking great. Yeah. Um, so there's a there's a match later this year. It's called Ball Brawl. It's a, th it's a three gun match. We'll, we'll do three gun. Me, if you meet me on the, if you meet me on the mats, I'll meet you on the range and you'll beat me on the range. hundred percent. You'll beat you, me on the range, but if you beat me on the mats, me. what's you that? You want to wrestle me or fight me? Either one. You pick. <laughs> on, okay. I'm, a, I'm a brawler, dude. I don't, I don't fucking wrestle. Exactly. That's what people who don't know how to fight say. But I, I, I wish you continued success with your. I, I feel like you've been watching that West Watson. The way you West talk, Watson, it, ten like keys to masculinity. Never got, like, no, no. So I think, I think Rick, I think you're, what you don't like know is failed high school football star. Yeah, I can Rick, fight everybody. Rick, 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 talking about fighting people, bro. Relax yourself a little bit, dog. Rick, I think you're like, uh, uh, if you haven't watched like Grid or any of us, um, it, it kind of you're making yourself kind of look a little bad because none of us actually. Like Wes <laughs> Watson yeah. at all? Like no, he just came on here, man. No, I, I hate Wes Watson. Was I think Wes Watson is a fucking like Wes Watson. No, I think it's soft ass dudes that get on the internet talking about they're gonna fight people. That's the pussies, dude. You know, but uh, I don't and the, the guy who's younger, and this this is actually a compliment. I'm gonna make a compliment to Dad. Shooting for fucking target practice is gangster. Shooting to defend your property is fucking awesome. But the guy with the cool sunglasses and the backwards hat, I fucking dig his vibe big time. When we were 19 or 20 years old, like maybe we get in a scuffle outside of a nightclub. Nobody stabbed anybody or ran him over with a car or threatened gun violence. That's what I meant when I said guns are for pussies. It's like we yeah. would typically, and then after the fight, we would cry about our childhood trauma and t uh, trauma, and then typically become better friends as a result of it. Yep. Thus releasing the fact that we weren't even allowed to be vulnerable back then. I, I, we weren't even disagreeing, dad. That's where that you're so quick to be defensive. I'm come sorry on, for whatever Grid. happened come to you as a youth. Come on, come on, Grid. Let's hear the SmackDown. Let's go, Grid One. No, no, Let's like, hear the no, SmackDown. It's, 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 it's too easy. It's too easy. Bait. Oh, oh no! Bait. Come on, give it to him. Too give easy. it to him hard, like he's I'm begging not, for I, it. I, we're not derailing <laughs> the conversation. Let's not derail it's the too easy. It's too easy. All right. Okay. Um, the whole point is like it's what it's kind of what Ricky Bobby is saying though. Hey, Grace. Um, like, okay, I, Ken, I don't really know you, so I need you to just kind of like be, be quiet right now. And unless you're adding to the conversation, I need you <laughs> I to like, was, not, I was just, no, 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 I need you to listen. This is your time to listen. All right, I let you up here. All right, as okay, a favor. I'm no, mute. Not talking. Thank you. Um, if you're not going to add to the conversation, I will remove you from the stage. All right, this is a privilege, not a, not a, uh, an, uh, um, all right. Right. Okay. So, but rights don't exist, so it's, it's a privilege. 
No, no. You're no, 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 no I, in this world, on this panel, no, you got a right. You got a privilege, okay? You got privileges, and then you can get them revoked real quick. Oh. Um, uh, what, what getting back to is what he was, I wanted to point out is like he's right because when we were kids, yo, we boxed it out. You know, we most of my friends I end up being enemies with before, and after we squabbed up, we became best of friends, lifelong friends. You know, it, it had something to do with that, you know, order. combat, that, that level of, you know, violence and, and sizing each other up. It was sharpening each other up. We challenged each other. Boys don't have that opportunity to, anymore. And so much soft young men have to been taught to use their words and and share their feelings. And they can do it from the safety. Like, when me, what's your name, guy in the glasses? Glenn. Glenn, very nice to meet you, brother. Sincerely, nice to meet you. And guys, today, like, they can say shit from behind a computer when, like, I wasn't the biggest bully in my school. Like, I was far from the toughest guy. But if you said that to, like, Louis Annunziata in South Bronx District High School, he would punch you in the fucking fit. Like, these kids would never yeah act as reckless as they do and it's it's kind of cute like i do enjoy the trolling it's kind of fun but like the, the separation of real world consequences and when you see some like they just fucking swatted sugar sean o'malley they said that there was an active shooter in his house they think it's funny to bring cops to what they it, it, yeah it's just it's, like i said and me and let me unpack one more thought because me and you were so close in age the guy under us that's 30 the guy that's over that's 50 with the way everything changes, it's a much bigger difference in generational culture than it used to be because everything yeah. happens so fucking fast now. Well, yeah, because like everything is is like accelerated. It seems like um, I want to uh, bring up Terry Terry Ock here. Uh, Can I just say one thing real quick, Len? Just one thing, like two no, Fadi, shut up. It's sure, like Fadi, real quick. Up. You just with rest the dude. Like it's kind of funny. He's a lot like you're doing a lot of projecting. You never go to a basketball playground and say what you're doing here, try to bait people into fight you. You never do that shit. You never go to a, a football practice where there's 20 giant dudes around and you try to bait them into fighting them. So you, just, you are just as pussy as you're talking about. Thank you, Fanny. You come on the just internet. Just what he did. That are thousands of miles away that are never going to fight you when you will never go to motherfucking play ball and try to do that shit. So you are as pussy as us. We're like, what the fuck? Thanks, Daddy. Let's go. Why are you waiting people oh, no, to watch me fighting you? No, 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 no. Don't speak for me. Uh, don't speak for me. <laughs> Yo, that, I that makes really no sense. enjoy physical combat. I don't hide from it. Come along. Oh, you have to go. You have good. Five things. Somebody he's talking about the other guy head. that came up to fight you, saying he's but gonna fight wait, you. Even you, you should avoid combat. You are a family man with business to run, That's with a wife to take care it. of. You actually should run from that shit. And this is why, once again, like it's a lot of us when we're talking you about see what behind men, grid, fatty. What men, what men <laughs> need to watch is drop the today. ego. Like there's no problem. There's I, no I promise problem. you that's probably not even close to the, the whole thing. There's no, no, there's no problem with the 50 year old saying, you know what? I am a millionaire. I have shit to lose. I have a family to take care of. I'm not going to fight you ever. Shut up. I'm not engaging with you. But ego makes us say, I like confrontation. Even if you like it, Reed, there's no problem to say no. Hey man, sounds like you have nothing to lose. Go ahead and punch trees. There's no problem with that shit. <laughs> I mean, all of, that, um, all of that that you just said is true. I mean, I all of that is uh, accurate. Um, to be I am, fair, Grid only said, whoever punches me better run faster <laughs> yes. than I can. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a false heart here that, that the youth nowadays don't fight. They do. The, the issue with the youth nowadays when they fight is they'll pick each other up and smash each other's head against the ground. Whereas back in the day, at least, if anyone tried to even kick someone's head on the ground, everyone would then jump on them. Yeah, so everyone be like, yo, 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 chill. Let them so, get uh, back up. You know, we used to do that one. Yeah, yeah. So Lynn's the only other person. You're not even allowed to, like, people just smash each other's heads. Kids aren't even <laughs> allowed to, like, wrestle in school nowadays, right? Like, kids do little, like, horse play on the playground, and the teachers come, oh, no, no. You no, can't no. even call it a jungle gym anymore. You have to call it a structure. It, it just, what? it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah jungle gym is racist. You're not allowed to call it a jungle gym anymore. I never heard that. What? Damn. 
Yeah. Lynn's the only other person yeah, was, I've ever that heard of breaking joke. somebody's that was a off joke, so ears. Congratulations. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. You can't, you can't call it monkey bars. I was wrong. I think it was monkey no, bars. I, you're not allowed to play anymore. But that's, that's like I told you. I still call it monkey bars. What are you were, talking about? Who cares? Hey, hey, easy. One second. Remember when you were telling me that we are doing certain shit that we don't do in real life? I dare you to go in a basketball break, playground in Brooklyn with a bunch of people that you are describing and do these jokes in front of their face. Film that shit, I give you five hundred dollars. Go ahead and do it. You I was saying monkey bar is a joke. You are a real man. Go there and make jokes about monkey bars and about jungles because he's racist in front of them. Film that shit and I'll that was, give you five hundred dollars. How is monkey bars racist? Yeah, that's the dumbest shit in the world. Like, that's what we called them in the 50s, 60s. And the, nobody, there was no connotation. There was the monkey bars. And Respectfully, I don't like dog whistles. If you guys are going to be racist, do it. I can handle this. No, but like, sorry, 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 sorry. One second. Hey, guys, 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 people I don't like dog whistles. And I don't like a man that looks like Ellen 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 DeGeneres trying to guess like me and to pretend that this man was not doing racist jokes. You're I'll the one that. saying that monkey bars is a racist joke. Just saying sir, monkey it, bars it, is a racist it, joke. You're the one who's gaslighting fight. You. You You're the one who's gaslighting fight. You're the one who's gaslighting fight. You're the one who's gaslighting fight. Just for a minute, because I've got like 20 minutes and then I got a jet. Yeah, I got to yeah, go. get on for like two hours. So, um, Lindsay and Grace finally showed up. So we had, and there, I thought, yeah. And Teriak almost counts as a girl. He's so white. I'm a middle-aged lesbian at the moment. Hold on, uh, real quick, uh, Fatty, do you see this picture? Yes. Uh, it says monkey bars body workout. This, the structure right here that the guy's swinging on, that was the monkey bars at the playground. No, That's I, I know what it is. Yeah. No, but Glenn, you missed something. Before oh, okay. he said jungle, he used the, the, the jungle. Yeah, jungle gym, remember. you fucking oh, idiot. No, one, se one second, one second. First I'm not going to give you a second if you're going to be incorrect. Do you no, need a translator? I called that a jungle gym. You said people removed the jungle gym because it was racist. Literally making a connotation to the word jungle and racism, which is what we're talking about. And then you did a joke about monkey bars. You what does jungle have to do with racism? You are clearly making a, jo a racial joke on that yes, shit. What was the joke? What was the joke, Fighty? What was the joke? I'm confused. What was the joke? Uh, yeah, I there was no joke. Was so funny. He was explaining how people are saying you they're trying to change the name of a jungle gym now and monkey bars because they're claiming that that's racist. Calling out the say it in the Indian style. Gym and calling the, the yeah, bars the monkey bars. You one. literally I will, I will I will not be against hey, you literally swing on those bars like this. I will not like I will not be against I will not be against it's because of how you swing across those bars. That has nothing to do with race. You're just gonna keep interrupting you. No, 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 I'm not. I will not be gaslighted. You guys can move Hey, Glenn, 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 can you mute him for 10 seconds, Glenn? Oh my God, you're, God. you're such a victim, Fatty. I, I have a question. You're such a victim, bro. Can somebody oh mute him for a second? I have a question for, I have a question for everybody. What did we used to call it when we sat down with our legs crossed? Sitting Indian style. Right. That's now you have to call it crisscross applesauce. That's not racist. That's called a empirical observation of what the word like. There was, I mean, bro, I'll leave your panel. That's fine. But in no way, shape, or form, I, I'm not going to sit there and. That's accurate. My my kid says that. I didn't ask you to leave the panel, and I'm not a victim. I just said move along. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but everything will affect the Karen. Unfortunately, I think Lindsay left. All right, so we can't get the female version here, but. Um. Teriyak, have you been listening to the discussion, like the 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 types, the archetypes of guys that I said that are um, part of the problem? Uh, no, I missed that part. I just woke oh. up recently. You piece of shit. I was listening. Let's go, go late tonight. I feel I feel like the Nick. You want to come in and say something? And yeah, yeah. It? So yeah. I feel like the I feel like the simps are the real problem. Like it all, it all starts with them, to be honest. And then, and then the kind of alpha male moralist idiots. Did you say moralist or moralist? Moralist, yeah, whatever, wrong word, whatever. No, no, no. I'm, I'm well, because it, 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 if they're moralist, that means they do the right thing. If they're moralist, that means they're out there fucking wreaking havoc. I'm, I'm genuinely curious. Uh, so the fake moral alpha males, that would be better. 
term. Like the like virtual West 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 West. They have morals, but then it's subjective. Is that what you're talking about, Nick? It's yeah. like virtual signaling. Okay, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm with you. The fake, you know, someone mentioned Wes Watson earlier. I think that's the kind of guy he's talking about. Yeah, that's. A, I was making fun of Wes Watson. We're on the same Yeah, yeah, page. no, no, yeah. I know, I know. He's a fucking douche. None yeah. of us here like Wes Watson, bro. He's a I fucking. Like Wes I have a whole I, I video. Like, I, I like fucking Wes clowned him for hours. I like Wes Watson. <laughs> But of course, like would, right? <laughs> he's, he's funny. What's wrong with Virginia. Wes? I like Wes Watson. He's funny. Lindsay, can we can we get Lindsay back in as well? What, you know. So, so what what is this channel even about? I found myself here. Me and Dad are probably fucking eighty eight percent the same. I like to bow hunt and fish, and we got in fucking a spat. Then there was what I can only assume to be a well educated uh, neighbor to the south who went on a diatribe of how everything is racist. And Glenn's just up there. I think Glenn had an edible. The guy's way too fucking chill. Yeah, uh, Glenn's no, in California. And the yeah. and the dude in the bottom looks like an extra in the stand video. Like I fuck with him heavy. <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's actually really good. My tea's sure. gone cold, and I'm wondering why. Um, so actually, what we were talking about is that I have I came up with like um, five archetypes, right, of men that I think are the problem in society that that can or at least uh, perpetuate the behavior or encourage the behavior that we see um that causes our society going in, in this negative direction right you have the simps the guys that you know simp after women you got the nice guys who are not really the nice guys they are in my opinion the most dangerous category of guys because they they use manipulation and all that stuff to get you know women to put the guard down and then take advantage of them right you got the white the knight boy. Well, nah, no, the fuck boy is, is, is the fuck boy. I didn't even get okay. Um You got the white knights who are Captain save hoes that like will always- Don't say white knights in front of Fatty. That's way too close to the white knights Templar of the clan. He's going to claim racism. Yeah, that, that's please. Racist, bro. <laughs> How'd you not know uh, that again? Uh, the white knights, um, you know, those are the guys that Captain save hoes that women could do no wrong or you know women can't be accountable for their actions and or they're always trying to save the lady's honor whatever the case is and Wait, then you got are you the, talking about like glenn are you for that one you're talking about like i i'm trying to think of an example would a good example be like someone who's like a dude who says like men should take the charges for women's crimes those kind of dudes um okay like uh that would be simple. That, well, no, no. It's kind of simple. No, it's like, kind of like what yeah. he was explaining, where like he yeah, thinks it's, that it's, women it's have absolutely like, no responsibility for any of their own actions. Like, it's, well, it's all the on the men. To, like, it's, it's the ones that want to, like, although they may acknowledge that the woman did something wrong, they want to defer the accountability elsewhere. Completely it's society, to the yeah, yeah. It, It's her, you know, the dude that she was with, you know, like, it's not really her fault. Yeah, she did the wrong thing, but it's always someone else, mm -hmm. right? Um, they guys. always do that for themselves too. You'll notice yeah. they do that for themselves too. They never do their own fucking thing. It's always it, it, it's really <laughs> virtue signaling, right? They, they almost kind of try to come off as like they're being very chivalrous, Sh chivalrous. Yeah. Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes, we can. All, All right, right. What's up, hey, buddy. Man. And then we have like the. Hey, the... I, I just wanted to ask quick. The dude that was uh, talking, like that came on, and uh, he was talking about the generations and stuff. What's what's your name? I I, I don't know Ricky what to call Bobby. you. Ricky Bobby. I can't see the names on the thing here for some reason. Yeah, because I don't have them on there. Here, I'll do it for the. Uh -oh. It's Ricky this Bobby. Guy. Um. So <laughs> then we also have like the um, what I would call like the moralist, right? The the fake alpha moralist guys that are just more virtue signaling than anything right um those guys these are the, the archetypes of guys that i say are problematic there it is yeah. it's ricky Bobby. what what um, category what category are you in like what would you call yourself what kind of guy are you can you know, i can i feel this question because i think i have a i think i have a finger on the pulse of glenn really well all right i'll let you make it done okay. no he doesn't have a finger i, I do <laughs> no no that's the seventh me. type of guy we're gonna get over that uh I think Glenn is a guy who had to learn from his mistakes quite a bit. Never necessarily regretted the past, but uh, it probably helped shape the way he sees the world now. 
and he, he tries to make a, like a living right course of action based on the younger version of him. So it's not necessarily an internal conscious that makes him live well, but more of a, a developed like social guideline. And he reckon he probably sees in other guys what he saw in a young him. It triggers him and he tries to mentor them in the right way. Am I, am I pretty correct, Glenn? Yeah, pretty spot on. It's pretty, pretty good job there. Pretty spot on. So, so what do you guys have against white knights? Because I'm a white knight. You a Captain Sable? <laughs> yeah. First of all, I know this. There's a lady in the room. Let me tip tip my fedora, my lady. She's not a lady. <laughs> Plus, I was. Can, can we just notice the irony that the White Knight has the most alabaster skin we've ever seen? Like the the irony is palpable right now, fam. Also, he's I was. Not, he's uh, not cammed up. What do you mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I was looking at the the stand guy. I, I can't tell who's talking. No, it's me. Oh, I, I, okay. I'm talking. So anyways, I was thought we were to believe all women. So is that incorrect, Glenn? Is that what you're saying? What What did you say? We, we were taught to believe all women. Yeah, yeah, that shit is wrong. Oh, Stop talking man. about that shit. That's just horrible. Shit. Well, there goes my white knight. I fly then. up here trolling. Shut up. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Glenn knows I'm fucking with him. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I think I white knight I, and i think like white knights come in categories i think there's levels to that shit right you know there's there's definitely levels to that shit to, um, to be fair i'll i'll, I'll untroll it real quick uh, i i actually literally just did claim to be a white knight in the previous stream with uh with uh, flow state because we were talking about the dragons versus the white knights and so slightly different topic but yeah it, it's, it's not about protecting women always it's more about like good standards versus bad standards because obviously the the good girls like the bad boys we already we all know this already but the question is does that mean we should all become bad boys then is that is that the answer for our bright future is just to all become you know pimps no. and thugs no it's to teach it's to teach men that being nice isn't virtuous it's being kind and to teach the difference between niceness and kindness. But speak easy, nice okay. guys. Nice guys always finish last. So how do you solve? Right. That so that's that's I'm the whole. Can, that's can, I, can I build this one since I'm the guest? Being nice and I'm, being kind. Hold right? on, hold on, Ricky. Right now, I, right now, right now I got you a great have, example. Have it's not an. Pimps. I just want an example. There's two options of simps and pimps, but there is a third option of fathers. That's what the world needs. So, right. so here's the here's the nice and kindness, and this is gonna explain it perfectly because I'm I'm from New York City. That's where I was born and bra born and raised in Brooklyn. Someone, for, if you have a flat tire, somebody from New York will call you an idiot for not having a jack as they pull it out of their own trunk, and they remind you of how you had so many shortcomings. Somebody from another uh, like Delaware might be like, "Oh, bless your heart, love. I'm terribly sorry that happened to you," but they can't be like niceness is surface level at best. It's yep. synthetic. Uh, Kindness is a genuine, that. it's a genuine leaving of a comfort pattern to try to do something for someone else. And sometimes that can include being like critical of somebody else. Sorry, that's yeah, the end of my rant. You're, you're I pre kind today. to your kids. You're not nice to your kids always, right? Like when you discipline your kids, you're doing it out of kindness because you love them, <laughs> yeah. right? But you're not, yeah, you're no. not, you're not nice to them exactly, are you? That's, that's pretty that's true. Even the because I actually, part. I, I'm gonna have to cut out. I'm, I'm, I've hit my limit. Uh, I've got to go uh, do stuff. Glenn, always a pleasure, sir. Thank um, you, Grid, for later, joining. Dude. If you guys, uh, if you guys want, uh, I don't do another show until Monday afternoon. But uh, come in for the day shift. It'll be, a, it'll be a riot. Uh, also, I have, um, I have a radio guy as my guest on Sunday. Uh, I actually, um, I don't know. I don't think he's syndicated. Um, but uh, so I don't know if he's nationwide or not. But um, uh, let me uh, let me hang on. I want to make sure I say his name right. Brian Suits. That's a uh, Suits S U I T S. Uh, he's going to be my guest. On I, I we're trying to set it up for Wednesday night. It's going to be a great show. He's a he's a vet. Uh, he's on the radio. He's um, you know pretty cool dude. And uh, so everybody come and watch that on Wednesday. And Glenn again, thank you for having me, brother. Um, no, Ricky Bobby or on. whatever. Uh, shoot, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave. Actually, Glenn, I'm gonna leave the I'm stream. Dropping your, I'm, I'm dropping your link in the chat right now for people yeah, to go yeah, subscribe and uh, give a follow and go check out the rest of your uh, content. Yeah, absolutely, guys. And uh, um, Glenn, I'm gonna leave the stream up on my end. Um, okay. So just, you know, don't do anything. It's gonna get me canceled, bro. 
All right, I won't show him my butt. I, uh, I give. Hey, hey, is your name Grid? Because I keep calling you Dad. How do I refer to you, sir? I'm Grid One. Yeah, Grid One's good enough. Grid. Uh, I will not do. Uh, I, I would never fuck with anybody's channel. That's that's kind of like I said. That new generational. Uh, it's being tough without any consequences. I, I will respect the integrity of uh, what you call home, sir. Sure. Yeah. Great. Um, uh, awesome. Cool. Hey, so uh, I, have, yeah. I have a question for you because you're the only guy that will know. Can you sure. do any live YouTube stuff with firearms, or is that completely outlawed? That's you, a clover. You that's can't. A clover so that's a clover you can't, question. I think he's already left. No, he's right here. Clover touch tech him. right here. That's a clover tech question. Yeah, you well, can't you, touch them. Um, those that, are real. That's not a. All that stuff's real, guys. Like. Yeah, that's why I was just asking because I, I've heard stuff like you can't go on YouTube Live, and then I saw you at the background. It's you just can't handle them. Is that the rule? Can't touch them. Yeah, he says right here, can't handle live. Yeah, can't handle. So I couldn't live. go. To, I couldn't go to a gun show on on YouTube Live, right? I couldn't go live stream yeah, at a gun show. Record it and maybe play it back. I'm not really. Good. That's that's a Clover Tack question. Get get Clover up here after I leave. I'm gonna pull myself yeah. out. So, now. And, and, and Grid One, since this is your channel, because I'm gonna dip out too. I got some stuff to do. What is what is the? I, I you guys randomly came up in my feed. I don't know who you are. What what is this channel? I like most of the people here, but what is this channel? Thank so you. you're actually on Glenn's channel, not mine. Unless I are you on my you, channel? I no, you're you're, on you're streaming. Well, we're all simul streaming. So I'm streaming. They're restreaming from my channel to their channel um but really we are just uh we were guys that want to help other guys improve yeah I do men's uh men's it's advocacy men advoc uh yeah. politics um finance i do financial stuff uh most of the other guys don't do don't talk finance much i talk business a lot um you know there uh, i do other uh content uh, along those lines um i do a lot of funny stuff um for some reason i don't know why i'm not i don't think i'm particularly funny but people laugh and um there's a know, lot of talk. crossover here because we got like uh you know like speakeasy he hosts um, he does debates. verbal combat yeah he does verbal debate like combat debates um fatty's a debater um not a mary act is the current verbal combat uh combat champion by the way so which is weird because cool. he looks like ellen degeneres <laughs> I, I'll, have, I'll have both links on the back if you want to follow them the, the yeah. both links on the private chat thanks uh, thanks Patty. That's, that's cool so of you we're, we're all like somehow interconnected into this what they uh, they call the manosphere right um so we all have we come from different parts of it and we we have a lot of overlap and we just end up having conversations we even debate some of the things that we you know um talk about we don't all necessarily agree, but the goal is to try to find something that we could all work with, whether it's disagreeing and you know learning something new. It's really just trying to improve, help men get better, be better men, be better fathers. And so you're telling me if I disagree with you on one thing, we can still have a productive friendship. That's very un-American in 2024. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. Uh, but, we, we're we're taking the word. Ricky, what do you that? usually? Who do you we're usually out, watch? Out uh who do i usually watch uh i'm i'm a big uh I'm, I'm gonna sound like a fucking tool now uh jordan b peterson i'm i'm a pretty big fan of uh okay live streamers that you like frequent panel on or no do you do you stream yourself do you have a channel uh no i haven't streamed in probably about a year okay Okay. I used to uh, I used to catch a certain type of bad guy that tries to get kids. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. That's cool stuff. We well, I support that. Yeah, YouTube 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 made it illegal, uh, so I stopped doing that. Okay. Not oh, illegal, wow. just they they made it to a point where um, you had to refer to them as minor attracted. But they they put in so many yeah. protocols right, and procedures right, right, in place yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. protect the attack. And the, and the reason I'm being so um, yeah, walk the tight politically rope, correct uh, is I don't want to yeah. say anything. Yeah, no, we, we know exactly what you're referring That's to. That's the kind of shit that can get your channel in trouble. Yeah. Yeah, no, we, we walk the tightrope of T TOS every single day. Oh, yeah. Every hey, day. hey, Ricky Bobby. And again, uh, like I said. Hey, Ricky Bobby, if you want to debate any topic, you can come to my stream. It's 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 It was built to shut down. Brought to you by... 
Tactical Soap from Grondike Soap Company, a game changer in men's grooming. Crafted with natural pheromones, it's designed to elevate your alpha status, masculinity, attractiveness, and charisma. Each bar is meticulously formulated to invigorate your sense and leave you feeling confident and irresistible. Unleash your true potential with Tactical Soap and command attention wherever you go.